Oh God. Yeah. So she that. yeah, so she could have been saved. And that's why the whole smear testing became such a big thing because it was like don't let it this don't let ignorance kill you basically because yeah. that's what happened to her. Also, I wonder like smear testing. It's quite like a western thing. I'm, I think I bet there's some cultures where they wouldn't dream of like I don't know. letting someone Maybe. swab them there and stuff like Maybe. that. Yeah, but some cultures do all sorts down there. So you never yeah, know. That's true. Um, anyway, yeah, it seemed rather quiet on Twitter about it tonight. From what I only looked briefly, yeah, people lost but... interest, did they? Perhaps they thought, oh, it's going to be the um, difficult part to watch. We'd not, we don't want want to watch it. But do you want to hear my my Jay Goody going in blog? Yeah, you it's do. Very, that. It's really short, actually. You read that, and I'm going to have a look if there's any interest in chat okay. on Twitter. All right, so it was blah blah blah. When is a twist not a twist? When every fuck on earth knew about it a week ago. It's day three of Celeb Big Brother. I don't even know the names yet. And still they insist on yanking people apart, messing with the budding relationships. God, I hadn't learned here, had I? And <laughs> generally pro- proving they don't have a fucking clue what makes Big Brother successful. <laughs> What's good about Big Brother? Romance. Fights. What's bad about Big Brother? The time they split in, split it in half. That's true. Just let things develop naturally, goddammit. Fucking idiots. Davina's mind-boggling excitement... Like a joke email that says at the top, this is really funny and makes you hate it immediately. Saying, ooh, just imagine Jermaine slumming it in here. Then they let the fucking Muppet contestants pick who goes in. Not that I even care about that stupid twist anyway. Jermaine's child is called Jermajesty. How the fuck did they not laugh when he told him that? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, here we go. So it's half time at the moment, despite almost being forced clockwork orange style by Channel 4 to watch Ugly Betty. Oof. I'm waiting for Jade and Co. I used to hate having yeah. to watch whatever they put in between. I'm waiting for Jade and Co. to meet Ken Bollywood. I've just called Shilpa Bollywood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's I missed the spray on her. Who's that? Dirk, maybe. <laughs> Is it Dirk? That's not a fireworks explosion, that's a wet sparkler. <coughs> Seriously, shoot the producers. Sorry, probation boy. Just get just get some TV <laughs> columnists and internet forum members to run the show. Internet forum members, that is old school. <laughs> uh, dear God, please make Jade's stupid boyfriend flirt with Shilpa. I would love to see Jade's empire fall to bits around her. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> Prophetic. Shit. That's foreshadowing. Uh, the the best bit was Jade unintentionally calling the others cold on the big screen. See, BB, you can't engineer cockups like that. BB dropped the ball again by not even letting us see the servants meeting the goodies. Duh. I f- feel warm to Jade, even though she's a hateful moron. <laughs> she will put her foot in it and provide some accidental comedy. Oop. She will get jealous and rub some of the more stuck-up ones uh, the wrong yeah, way. Correct. Oop. <laughs> correct. A final word, Davina dressing up as Ugly Betty in the ad break. Is there nothing you won't do, woman? Jade has more fucking integrity than you. <laughs> Suck Davina and Davina. <laughs> Let Russell do the lot. <laughs> Boom. Out. Let Russell do the Strong lot. words. Strong words <laughs> there. <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. I'm going to see what this one about when it all kicked off. Oh. Leo Say- Sayer has his pride. Not with that hair, mate, over in. <laughs> These are good. You should check these out. Uh, these are blogs. Listeners. I bet they are they yeah, good. Yeah, quality. Jace, Where can they find your blog? Exertainment. Just search Exertainment and it'll come up. J- <laughs> Jay's family has taken over the show except the mute boyfriend. <laughs> Jay's mum is the scummiest person on earth. Her not remembering Shilpa's name is pathetic. She's an aggressive and ugly person. I feel for Jade, who seems reasonably sensible by comparison. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, some of my views are questionable. It's so good here. that you have all this archive. It's weird, isn't it? And like you look back now, you think, "Oh God, why did I say that?" Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? But interesting that you said you wanted to see Jade's empire fall around her. Oh, I've said Jade needs emotional support. Even so, she's ruined the show. So burn her. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! A Bring Jade, back the old rhetoric. A, a Jade and her boyfriend even shagging. They don't even seem to know each other very well, let alone like each other. Do you even kiss me? There's no passion, laughing, flirting, no, arguing, it? or even conversation. Yeah, that is weren't. true. It was like he was just like been stuck in there, wasn't it? Oh, here's about Leo Sayers breakdown. That is quality. Go on. What's Twitter saying? I want to know. Um, have a look through your. These I'm blogs. Looking. Yeah. I want to know at which point you identified it as racism because you must yeah. have called it out. Yeah. 
I know, because all I said about her mispronouncing Shilpa's name was it was pathetic. I didn't actually call it racist there, which is weird, because nowadays we're like, racist about yeah. every fucking thing. Um, oh, Jackie left. This is Jackie leaving. Uh, I'm going, please, please, please don't vote Leo out. Oh, rather like Jack. My boyfriend hates Shilpa. I wonder which boyfriend that was. <laughs> must have been James. James, yeah, must have <laughs> Why did Jack say he hated Chilper? Why did Jade tell him to shut up? Due to the editing, we'll probably never know. But I'm guessing the answers are because he fancies her and because of OK Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just went on the message boards. No Twitter back then. No. And talk is Jack called Chilper a P-A-K-I. No. Yeah, would explain Jade's reaction, I suppose. Don't you remember it was at the end of the show and Jack, uh, J- is his name Jack? He went, oh, she's a fucking... And then it bleeped. Really? But normally they'd show it if someone said cunt or whatever. And that's why everyone was saying he said that. I've put, big brother, please chuck him out. They've already said casual racism is okay with the championing of Jackie. Let's not encourage it further. See? I am Mm, being sensible. Let's not encourage it further. Yeah, they should have listened to me. Then we wouldn't have had burning effigies on them fucking... Go on, what what (laughs) Twitter saying? Not a lot, to be honest with you. But the few people were defending Jade... Um, huh. go on. I said I've watched the bit back about Jack and I can't work out if he said I'm writing the the word in full here I'd err uh, 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 more towards the side of yes he did if he did and BB are letting it slide shame on them shame on them anyway for fucking everything up they better pull their socks up come summer yeah. <laughs> still complaining about it even back then it's hilarious yeah. isn't it <laughs> uh, go on uh, bad, bad Monkey we know them on Twitter don't we to be honest I yeah, found I Jade's, like Jade's apologies then and now genuine and persuasive mm. and were much in contrast to the behaviour of Joe and Danielle yeah that's true yeah they didn't get much airtime on that show did they they got off quite lightly actually well I got a comment on that oh, here on. Um, oh where was it oh people saying that this is John Gregory on Twitter, people saying Danielle and Joe got away with it. Are you sure? Joe had a breakdown. I don't think they meant to be racist at all. I think Joe and Danielle mm. were more racist. They were, yeah. And I feel like Jade got whipped up in the sort of frenzy of that group. Yeah, I agree. But I can't deny that the stuff Jade said, Shop a Papa Dom and No You need to go back no, to the you slums. Can't were racist comments. But I don't think she'd actively hate someone because they were a different race to her. No, I don't either, but I don't think that's... I don't define racism as that. I I don't think racism is just hating somebody because of their race. I think it's making them feel small because of their race, making them feel belittled because of their race, making them feel different because of their race. This is my name of BB21. It's not just hatred of someone, is it? It's othering them. True, and to highlight anything based on race, which is... The thing is, accent is a funny one, isn't it? How you're not allowed to imitate an accent of someone of a different race to you. But if it was an Irish person, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, that that's, is that's funny. That's really a borderline one. It's funny how we we sort of bulk yeah. when someone does and do that, an it's Indian because, accent. It's because to do an accent of an Indian person or a Mexican person or whatever, they're more of a minority group. So an Irish person's not really a minority group anymore like it used to be. So it's it's Is the more creature? the That's more why. minority the group is, the more offensive it is, I guess, mm. isn't it? And the more maligned they are. Someone here called Careers Advice slash Recruitment said, "Nope, <laughs> hashtag Jade Goody wasn't a racist, but she did come across as a racist." What? That's the same. I, I don't think she get got that. all the stick for Danielle and Joe. The sad thing, no one in the group checked those three. No one in their group checked those three for their racism towards mm. Chopachetti. No, that's right. And I'm talking about that in my blog about people just sitting back and doing nothing. Shilpa just put chicken bones down the loo in this one. Shilpa did stoke at that fire. Yeah, she did do some stupid She did shit. do some really odd things. Oh, this is the one where, this is the one after it proper kicked off. Um, it's all capital letters. That's why I had the long version of the video of Jay Goody shouting at Shilpa. I presume that's not still working anymore. <laughs> she clicked Try on it and see. Ah, uh, no, it's gone. Sad. Shame. Um, here we go. Oh, if I saw her in the street, I'd spit on her. <laughs> I said about Jade. Daniel and Joe are no better. Laughing at this thing which made me physically sick will hope, hopefully be their epitaph. Oof, strong words. Um, hold on. Epitaph? Yeah. I don't know what that means. It's like you're on your gravestone, basically. What people read out of your funeral. 
Oh. Why can't the Channel obituary. Why can't Channel Four make a stand and kick the four of them out? Mm, four of them. Jack as well. You're talking. Yeah, I guess. Ne- never mind the reputation of an entire country or the sanity of a 31-year-old woman. It's not a cultural thing. It's plain wrong versus right. For fuck's sake, wake up. I'm disgusted by the whole thing. Disgusted and addicted. Oh, that's a good end that's a good end to a vlog, isn't it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> Compulsive viewing, but it was also so hard to watch. If you watch about any of those episodes now, mm. the house was so fucking quiet. Mm. None of that group had anything to say to each other. They all just no, knew it was... something awful was happening. And then, of course, if you've got news cameras flying over the house every day, yeah, it's a pretty surefire sign that this is being talked about. Definitely. Oh, Jade's popper on comment. It's clearly racist. I'm glad I agree with myself. Capitals, Thank you. Yeah. If you don't believe it, go to work tomorrow, find the most senior Asian in your business and call him or her <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Popperdon. It's called gross misconduct. Thank you. That is a good test. That is a good test. That's a good test. I'm, sh- com- um, I'm showing yeah. wisdom beyond my years here. Um, <laughs> Alfie Sheldon, a friend I mentioned earlier, at Alfie S12. He's Alice tweeted, <laughs> I will never forget this Joe Amira interview on GMTV Ooh, where she on. denied everything, took zero responsibility no, for her actions that. and blamed everyone but herself. Disgusting. I remember that. And I've retweeted that on my timeline. Ah, poor Joe Amira sitting at home with no jaw. Oh. Probably on Suicide Watch again. Still. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Gosh, oh, here we go. Here's Jay getting, getting evicted now. Well, what do you know? Davina handled that interview. Wait for it. Well, Wonders would never see if I can hate Davina. <laughs> She, she actually gave Jade a hard time. Hurrah! She mentioned the bullying as well as the racism and said, you only apologised after Big Brother told you to. Ha ha. <laughs> That's true, she did. <laughs> All that making up stuff on the highlights was clearly engineered and not worth mentioning. We're not that stupid. Personally, I feel cheated there was no baying mob. <laughs> but I guess it could have got out of control. <laughs> Jade just talked rubbish trying to wiggle out of it, but she did look quite devastated. I'm sure she's only worried for her own skin, though. I sincerely hope her career goes down the pan, but I'm sure she'll make a few more squid out of it yet. I think she's ignorant rather than truly racist, backtracking. And let's not forget her henchwomen. I hope they get an equal grilling when they leave, did they? I think they did. I'm not really sure. I'd like to watch those back and see what Davina had to say to them. <laughs> I said, so will Jack the Plank come out of his shell now she's gone? Don't count on it. Let's <laughs> hope he tries to cop off with Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> what did happen to Jack Tweed? <laughs> He beat a cab driver at a golf club. Do you remember that? Oh, the next day I'm moaning that it's boring now. Jade's gone. <laughs> Classic. You're moaning that the next it's boring. day I'm boning that it's boring now. Jade's gone. Always away, yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, God, I'm such a cliche. Do you know how much of my life I've wasted on this shit? I'm going on about Jade blubbing to the news of the world. This is hilarious. Someone's tagged Danielle Lloyd. Oh, that sweet. Miss Lloyd said, yes. This is someone called Lynn Tina. Drag it oh up. God. She goes, when you were at Stevenage FC with Teddy, you looked at me like a piece of crap. <laughs> Watching hashtag Jade Goody, I can now look down on you. <laughs> like that. As opposed like to like when she was actually in Big Brother. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, my own Twitter. I, I dug Danielle Lloyd out for so many years after that on Twitter, you know. She's awful. And I, I feel used like to dig her out constantly. She came off unscathed. Yeah. I, no, she didn't. I remember my friend posting a picture of Daniel Lloyd with her like leg all gashed open. Do you she fell over like a coffee table in a club? No. And I, I gashed her whole leg open. She's on the floor crying. My friend just posted it on Facebook. It's like, oh, <laughs> we were just laughing about it. <laughs> like, she is just so hated. <laughs> it's fun. And also, Alfie says, CBB5 is such a dark series. Just the whole tone of it. Even, it is. Even before everything kicked off was an uncomfortable watch. Yeah. Yeah, no shit, that really was. Yeah, basically, after Jade's gone, I'm just saying it's boring. <laughs> I want to see what I said about Shilpa actually winning. It was the logical end to the series, wasn't it? Yeah. Even though Shilpa wasn't a great housemate, really. No, she, but she had to win, didn't she? It was kind of the only redemption that we could have had as a nation, <laughs> in a way. Yeah, otherwise, imagine the shame. Wasn't J- J- Jermaine uh, second as well? I think so, yeah. That's boring, isn't it? Hold on. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Somebody's... <laughs> Berkwin actor Leo Sayer and the Bill Please Car story I cannot deal that is hilarious <laughs> that is brilliant we never knew that that was the one we didn't know That the phone hacking last episode so this is the day before the final <laughs> like the phone hacking it's true phone hacking and a fake yeah. police car for Leo Sayer. yeah but it's true it's, it's, like a little, it's a little tidbit that yeah, we didn't know 
listen, this is the day before the, the final. I'm saying tomorrow should be interesting. But how are they cramming six interviews? Jax will only take 30 seconds, Jack admittedly. Made the final. <laughs>